Hello and welcome to the section of the Algebra Tutor. In this section we're going to talk about factoring in a special form that sometimes you come across and that's called factoring the difference of two squares. Before we write anything you should read the title again, the difference of two squares. Difference, when you have the difference of two things it means you subtract them, right? Two squares or the difference of some squares means something's going to be squared. So basically this is going to be a special case when you see two things subtracted that happen to be squares, perfect squares, and we'll talk about it and give us some examples. And I'm going to show you that anytime you see that pattern, there's a certain way you can factor it that's very easy, and once you recognize it, it can make your life a lot easier and you can get the answer in very few steps. But before we do that, let me kind of derive and show you how this all comes about. Let's take a, a little trip down memory lane, and let me ask you, what if you have x plus y, this is kind of a review, times x minus y. How do you multiply these two binomials together? Um, well, you can do FOIL, right? So you have first terms, which is going to be x squared multiplied together. Outside terms, since you have the negative y times the positive x, can be negative xy. The inside terms is going to be x times y. And the, out, and the uh, last terms is negative y times y is negative y squared. So that's all correct, but then you realize that negative xy cancels with positive xy, so they subtract to zero. So what you really have here, and what I'll do is I'll write it down again, x plus y, x minus y, is equal to x squared minus y squared. So I'm going to circle this and leave it on the board because, at least for a little while, because this is the difference of two squares, believe it or not. You have the difference of two things that are squared. That's all it means, the difference of two squares. You have a squared on the x, a square on the y, and you subtracted them. Anytime you see the difference of two squares, you can immediately factor it like we have it here. Now, I've kind of done it backwards to show you what it's equal to, but basically, you know, factoring is when we reach into something and pull it out, right? It's when we, we write something as a multiplication and make it basically where it's equal to what we originally started with. What I've shown you kind of in reverse is that anytime you see this, you can rewrite it as x plus y times x minus y. Anytime you see x squared minus y squared, you say x plus y times x minus y. And this is the factored form of this difference of two squares. So even though I showed you by multiplication, when you go the reverse way, you're basically factoring, and when you see a difference of two squares, you can always write it like this. So let's go and leave it on the board and do a couple of examples, and I'll show you how you could apply this to problems where you have to factor something. What if you have the expression x squared minus 16? And I say factor that. And you look at that and you say, I don't, I don't know how to factor that because there's an x here, there's numbers here, there's nothing common, there's no way I can factor this expression. But then you remember, 16 is what we call a perfect square because 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So really you can rewrite this as x squared minus 4 squared. Now doesn't this look an awful lot like what I have here? x squared minus y squared minus 4 squared. So really what we've said is we've replaced the y with 4, but other than that, this is the same exact thing to what I've written up above. So because it's the difference of two perfect squares, you can write the answer immediately, x plus y, x minus y. It's just that y is 4 now. So you say x plus 4, x minus 4. And that is the final answer. That is the factored form of this. And if you don't believe me, which you, know, you should always be skeptical in life, 